What's going on, everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you the werewolf. We are fast approaching the Halloween season, and I want to get some you know, kind of Halloween-inspired models going. Werewolf is always a, you know, a fun monster that always tends to come up around this time of year. So I figured we would start with, uh, with a werewolf. But before we do, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Welcome back those of you who are already subscribed to the channel. Welcome in those of you who are new. And if you like what you see, just go ahead and click that little beholder in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And there's a shortcut to your subscription. Without further ado, let's get on the werewolf. I'm going to get things started here with a nice base coat on the flesh with a mix of heavy blue-gray, heavy violet, and a touch of black. Now I'm going to base his robes or his kind of his loincloth with a layer of dark Prussian blue. I'm going to start applying a mid-tone to his flesh on the upper areas of his muscles with a the same layer as his base coat only having added a bit more heavy blue gray to the mix Throwing a base coat in his eyes with a little desert yellow. And now throwing some pure heavy blue gray on the uppermost reaches of his muscles and flesh to really give him that kind of moon kissed 
look. After base coating the belt and Rhinox hide, added some white to the dark Prussian blue, and I'm gonna start going over the raised folds in his loincloth. And now to delineate his mane from his flesh, I'm throwing a little sepia wash in the portions of his mane on the front and on his back. And lining the upper portion of his belt with some heavy brown. and touching the front part up with a couple dabs of desert yellow. Time to throw that base down, getting a base coat of heavy blue-gray all over the base. Pick out some of these rocks with heavy brown. Give it a layer of black wash. That's dry, going over it with a dry brush of Stonewall Gray. And then a layer of sepia wash. Pop some ruddy skin in his mouth for his tongue and top off that base with a dry brush of bone white. And that'll do it. Thank you for watching.